I've uh, updated your prescription and I think you're good to go, Mr. Jennings. Do you have any questions for me? Actually, I, I do want to talk to you about the future. Of course. Uh, what would you like to talk about specifically? Well, you know, I'm not getting any younger. And although I don't really have anything wrong with me, I just feel like I'm worn out all over. That does happen. Have you thought about what kind of medical treatments you'd want if you became seriously ill? Well, that's just it. My cousin Elsa just went in the hospital, and I think she's feeling really uncomfortable, especially since they put that tube in to help her breathing and she can't talk. And they're doing all kinds of tests. And I think she would just rather that they let her be and that they just keep her comfortable and maybe even that she die at home. But the family keeps asking for the doctors to make her well and doing everything they can at all costs. Uh, well, it sounds like they haven't really talked about that with her before. No, I don't think they've uh, talked about it at all. But as for me, I, you know, I've lived a long life and I think if I was to get sick like that, I wouldn't really want to be in the hospital at all. I'd just want to be at home with my family. But I don't want to be in pain. Okay. I think I understand. Now, this is important for us to talk about to make sure you get the medical care you want. But you need to talk to your family too to make sure they understand your values and your preferences. Uh, that's important. If something happens and you can't speak for yourself, like Elsa. Oh, that's a great idea, but how do I do that? Well, here is a prescription with some uh, instructions on it for you. Do you have a um, computer at home? Uh, just a tablet, but I'm not very good at using it. My daughter could help with that. Okay, okay well, here's a pamphlet as well. And if your daughter can help, go to the website planwellguide.com. Uh, you and your daughter can uh, read through the information together and actually make a plan that you can download and share with me and the rest of your family. Uh, that way, if something does happen and you can't speak for yourself, uh, we'll all know what's important to you. Thank you, Doc. That makes me feel much more at ease. I've been thinking about this ever since Elsa went in the hospital. So, Mr. Jennings, how did things go with your daughter and the Planwell site? Well, it was a bit tough at first, but the information on the site was useful, and once we had read through all the different types of medical treatment and done the quiz, I think my daughter understood why I wanted to talk about this. That's great. Do you feel more at ease? I do. In fact, I even made a plan, and I printed it out and made a copy for you. Excellent. Oh, this helps me ensure that you get the medical care that's right for you in the future. Uh, did you discuss this document with your family? I did, and uh, I made copies for them. Now they know exactly what's important for me, and there shouldn't be any questions or arguments about how to care for me should I get sick and can't speak for myself. They'll be able to make decisions for me, and, and you'll help them, right? Of course. I'm so glad that you took this step. And now you don't have to worry about it and you can feel confident that your voice will be heard.